prepare water as well um, in a basin. And so either half or one teaspoon. Make sure you put oil on your knife so it's easy then to wash later. All right, so you see that sap, so that's really sticky. That's why you need to put paper or glad wrap. Yeah, it's very sticky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, she got it. Just nice. So it's kind of similar to like a pineapple cutting? Yeah, like a pineapple cutting. Is that middle bit actually hard, like the center? No. No, no, the, the ranch. Oh, yeah, the that core. Bit right the middle, the yeah. core. Yeah, yeah you, you, after this, you will cut that one and you just take off the middle because oh. it's not, um, it's hard to eat. Okay. You don't include that one when you, when you cook. Now, the kids have also asked can you eat it raw at this stage? I don't no. think so. <laughs> no, I don't think you'd want to eat it raw. You'll be struggling eating with the sap. Yeah. <laughs> Be worse than peanut butter. <laughs> It'll glue your mouth together. Oh, yeah. can we have a piece, please? <laughs> That's cute. Oh, there's, a, yeah, there's some different varieties. And then cut half. And then you can slice. Or you like when you cut pineapple, you can avoid the center. Mm -hmm. Do you want this cut? Oh yes. Thank you. And see that, that in the middle? Mm -hmm. That's what you want to get rid of. Okay. Chop this one, the woody bit is yeah. the hard part. The core. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, all you need is that one. Okay. Oh, it yeah. looks they, like they, a... they keep that bit in the hands. Yeah, to mm. keep it together, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was just saying. How they make us anything. The same. No, well, because it's in brine. In Is it because it's been in there for so long that it's changed? And well, also the can. I think the can will be flavour you do add to it. Yeah. So make sure you, your pot you yeah. put oil yeah. around it yeah. so it won't well, stick so it's easy then for you to clean up later. So now um, I've already done the first batch so I will show you the second batch. Make sure there's a water, of course. Or put the jacker that you peeled. But anyway, I was a bit Thin, if you like. When it's boiling, you just press it and make sure that the, uh, the bottom is also um, put on the top and grab what's in the bottom to put on the top so it cooks evenly. And this one is almost cooked but you, let's wait for probably 5 minutes for this and we'll use a fork to prick it. So after 10 minutes, depending on the, how old is the, your, your jackfruit, you just put the knife in and that's soft enough and that's cooked. What you're going to do then is take this one and um, either you're going to drain it or do it like this. And that's it. Either you can freeze it or put in a jar. Now it's ready. You can cook whatever you want with a jackfruit. Once you finish um, peeling, um, rub a oil on the knife so that it's easy then for, for you to clean. I've done the first one like that, so that's easy once you put oil. 
Just put oil. In what the sort oil. of oil? Any oil. Any oil. 